All right, guys, so we are in Tokyo and we're about to go into the Harry Potter Cafe. This does require a reservation. I was able to get one maybe like four or five days before. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. So as you guys can see in the Harry Potter Cafe in Tokyo, the aesthetic is very beautiful, especially the exterior. You can see the red colors with the four banners on top and the inside was absolutely beautiful. You can see there's a lot of decoration. The theme, you can see it matches a lot with all the cool decorations on the side. But let's go ahead and take a look at the menu together. All right, so it's actually like two o'clock. So we're gonna show you guys what's on the menu. You have the cafe menu and the course menu, which is at night and then you have the full. So take a look. We actually have like this menu here that you can choose like a sandwich. So this one looks good for me. It's like a beef and onion and it's Gryffindor. I personally think I'm a Hufflepuff, but you know, it is what it is. But that one has like bacon and caramel onion. So it's like, eh, whatever. This one right here, this one has a chicken and mushroom Slytherin. Blue is actually really nice. I thought this would be the green one, but that's 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 Slytherin, I think. Or Ravenclaw, oh, this Slytherin. Yeah, Slytherin actually looks really good. Salmon and spinach, but uh, for me, we, we picked this one here. We're gonna put it onto the list. And then we also have side dishes, which I gotta get this one. It's just beans, eggs, and a bread. Uh, prices are kinda, I mean, it's expensive for Tokyo standards, but if you order a little bit of everything, it comes to $40. If it's like Canadian standards, not too bad, but you can see there's like a salad you can get. Uh, you can also get, what is this, salmon tartare. Actually, it's not bad for that price, but I'm getting this because, you know, platform nine and three quarters had to do that. Then there's the main dishes that you can also get, but for me, it, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, you get the dragon smoke rose. I wanted to get sandwich. And finally, the, the, we have also the, where are the desserts? Oh, we have main dishes and then you have the dessert. This one looks kind of okay, but I was debating between this dragon's lair, because this dragon lair, or arog lair, why did I say dragon lair? Because it has like chocolate on it, but I think we're going with back. Where's the back one? There we go. I think we're going to go with this one which look at that, Hewitt's cake. Just look how amazing that looks. So now we're gonna add in, and then if you look at our cart, click it. They also have English, which is fantastic. You can see our cart. And it's gonna come to $40 plus tax, so about $45 Canadian, so not bad. So let's place our order. We're gonna wait for food to get here, and uh, we'll try it out. All right, so we've actually discovered that there's like a non-alcoholic cocktail section. I thought they'd be alcohol, but I guess for lunch, they don't have the alcohol. They do have a drink menu at night. But this one right here, this is like a lychee base. This one right here, apple base. This one's like a tea base. And then this one is more like an orange cinnamon base. But overall, I don't know if I'll get any of them. This one looks good, apple, but lychee looks amazing. So we'll, we'll see which one I wanna get. So like I mentioned earlier, the decor inside is actually really nice. You can see the lighting, the color is blue inside, a lot of cool paintings, and the food is Beautiful. You can see all the food we got there. We actually got a cocktail in the end. I think it was a lychee one with our entire meal. This food looks really good, but will it taste as good? Let's go ahead and try out the food. All right, so we have received most of the food, mine's the dessert. So let me show you guys what we've ordered and how it looks. All right, so to start off, we have our toast and beans, which I thought was only gonna be beans, but there's some mushrooms with some uh, toast. This used to have a bubble, but it popped. And then, you know, the platform nine and three quarters, which is the platform that everyone gets. So very nice looking. We're gonna try it out in a second. And then we have our sandwich. So we did get um, the beef and onions, and then it comes with a soup as well. And then we got, you know, we got the apple drink because it looked cool, so we got that. And then we'll get the dessert. Let's try out the food right now. First thing we're gonna try, oh, take a sip of the cocktail. Let's go and grab this, try it out. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice, it's apple flavor. It looks like they added a little bit. It feels like rosemary. I'm not sure, but very nice, very, very good flavor. Um, let's try the sandwich, because only, honestly, look at this. I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this. You want them to get sauce everywhere? Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. Beef, a bit of onion. Is there any sauce anywhere? Also got the Harry Potter. Mm. Not bad. I try the soup. The soup is when like Loki looks not bad. Take a sip. Mm. It's like a lobster bisque. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. That right there is really nice. The lobster bisque itself is pretty good. I uh, know. A little pickle there. Mm, okay. Good. Let's try some of the beans. 
and the bean plate. It's not bad, but again, it's just beans, right? You're not ordering it for the beans. You're ordering it for this, which um, I feel bad eating this. Mm. Bread in Japan, amazing. Yeah, it has olive oil, I think, here on the side. Mmm, smells like a sweet olive oil. I like that a lot. And you got the mushroom. So you're supposed to put like the bean and bread. The bean itself, this plate, may not be worth it for taste-wise. But if you just want something that's picturesque, very nice picture. But taste-wise, probably won't recommend it, but one of these sandwiches are pretty good. The beef one is pretty good. Mm. Twelve dollars for the beef, or like that. Drink twelve dollars. Maybe not. The bean one, only if you're into pictures. Beside that, we're gonna finish this off. See how it tastes. All right, so we have gotten our dessert. Look at that bird. Apparently, it's supposed to be like a tiramisu one. So uh, let's go ahead and try this one out. It looks crazy. It looks too good to eat, to be honest. All right, first thing we're gonna try is the whipped cream on top. Japanese cream or milk. Mm. Ooh, pretty dang good. There's something underneath it, actually. Oh, it's more of the cake. It looks like there's like a strawberry. Mm. I have no idea what that is. That's incredible. Mm. Yeah, they tried the chocolate part. This cake is amazing so far. Darkness. Mmm. Tiramisu, for sure. So I guess we have like the crunchy bar on the bottom. And then you have the, you know, the chocolatey, <coughs> the coffee taste on it. <coughs> that's, that's really good. This dessert actually will be worth it. Oh, <laughs> I need to eat the letter. This white chocolate. Let's see if the head is a different flavor. No, okay. So just whip with some, a bit of, yeah, there's. Take a big bite. Mmm. Mm. Some strawberries in there. Oh, it's like um. Tastes like. I think it's a nut. I'm not sure which one. I want to say macadamia because it does taste like macadamia nut. But it is. That's incredible. This dessert. I think it's worth the fourteen dollars. To be honest. Let me finish this. We're gonna talk outside, talk about my whole experience here. So, so far, dessert. Mm. So I was actually taking a bite of the head. Turns out there's ice cream. But this not only has a tiramisu, it has this strawberry. And the more I eat it, I think it's actually um, almond nuts. Mm. Ice cream, tiramisu. Looks like a strawberry shortcake. You got three types of dessert in one. I'm thinking, man, this this dessert is crazy. Amazing. All right, before we talk about the cafe, there's actually a Harry Potter shop that you can actually visit while you're here. So we're gonna go ahead and visit it, talk about the cafe afterwards, but I kinda wanna take a look what's inside. I'm telling you guys, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you have to visit the store. There was so much variety available there. And even if you don't wanna buy anything, it's just cool to take a look at all the stuff. You had purses, you had robes, you have mugs, you have wands, you know, all the regular Harry Potter stuff, but you have so much cool varieties in here that you have to check all of these out. I I'm not like a huge Harry Potter fan, so I actually didn't buy anything here, but I can totally understand why someone want to come check this out and buy some cool stuff in here. Let's talk about my experience at the restaurant. Uh, honestly, I paid 60 bucks. There's a few things that was worth it, I think. I think the main thing that I really enjoyed was dessert and the drinks. Those are really the only two things that I completely finished. I don't think the baked bean ones. It's like a tomato beans sash, $12 for beans and a cool bread. Not worth it. The sandwich that I had was kind of cool, but I think in hindsight, I probably would have gone like the baked pie thing. That one seemed to be a little bit better of an option, but I don't think that the entire menu, the food was, it was good. Like the, half the menu was good, but you're not going for that, right? You're going for the Instagrammable part. Like it looks beautiful. Like that nine 
three-quarter station that's very nice you had the regular design of the dessert I think the dessert was great because it was beautiful design great tasting and the drinks right so honestly for the price you're not paying for the food you're paying for the experience it was a very nice vibe and it was pretty good honestly I would recommend it just for the experience but don't have your hopes up for the food it was mediocre for some of them the dessert was great but the drinks yeah, the drinks was good too so uh, I would recommend it though Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys want to try out this Harry Potter cafe? You do have to reserve a few days in advance. I did like four or five days in advance. Maybe some people told me it took a month, but I enjoyed it. It was cool. And it was like in a kind of area that felt like it was Harry Potter vibes. But let me know if you guys would. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.